Guys, what's going on? Mike Tucio here, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, I did a lot of shit in my spare time. All the floor, all the roof, not the walls, because we have plans for the walls. As you can see, I went to the nether. I went to the nether, got some nether quartz and stuff, got some, a little bit of netherite somewhere in here. Nether wall, netherite, not much, but uh, need to be duped. Got uh, an enchantment table with all the books here and everything. That's a level, that's a level 30 enchantment there. As you can see, I've got an enchanted pickaxe. Efficiency 2. Um, let me get anything else now. Um, got an entrance and exit here now. You know, so saying. That's a shwimp. That's all the way up. Look at the speed of it. Look at the speed of it. And the down. This took me fucking ages. I spent, like, all of yesterday, after I finished recording, after, you know, edited and everything, I spent all of yesterday doing all of this, and my god, it took me ages. I didn't finish until, like, close to 9 o'clock last night. <sighs> and then, I also did another thing. So, obviously, I moved the, uh, the exit. Obviously, because I don't need it now. But... Now you can see what I had planned for these walls. What are these, you may ask? Well, these are mystery boxes. Like Black Ops. Like Black Ops. Mystery boxes. You know, with a the light there. You know, we'll, we'll get to this in a second. I, I'll tell you about how it works. So, yeah, these are, these are mystery boxes. And so, what they are is, obviously, Black Ops mystery box. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll show you how it works. So, this is not my design. I just want to say this. This is not my design. Um, I follow. I guess I followed the. I copied the design of someone called FedEx Gaming. He made a YouTube video eight years ago. This is an old contraption that still works to this day. Still works, and I use this. You know. I'm crediting him, so I'm not stealing, you know, this is his design, and I've used this design multiple times throughout many survival worlds. So, it's very simple redstone, simple enough for a monkey like me to do it. You know, this is your, uh, the box. Let's put this in here, right, and let's grab some rotten flesh, one, two, three, four, five, because five is the pavement that, you know, we use. You want to put five rotten flesh in there. Right, you close it, you wait, the light turns on, items in the chest, you can take it, or you can leave it and it disappears back into this little chest here. So what it does is basically, you know, there are droppers here that push items up, this you fill with weapons, pushes into this dropper, this dropper shoots them up into this hopper, that hopper pushes them into another dropper underneath here that shoots it up into this chest here. If you don't, if you don't want them, you discard them. They go into this this hop, uh, this hopper into this chest. This is your payment items. This is for five. You know, and when it detects five has gone in, the five will go out into here, and as well as send a signal across, up, across to the to the lamp, telling you that your item is in there. The only change on this side that I made, you know, it's. The same on both sides. Where did I... Yeah. You know, it's the same on this side, except instead of rotten flesh, it's going to be iron. Because on this side, it's going to be uh, stronger stuff. So, what I mean by that is, on this side, we're going to have wood, stone, and gold weapons. So you can, you know, for only five rotten flesh, you can get shit weapons. But on this stuff, it's five iron, which can, iron obviously can be dropped by zombies. For five iron, you can get stuff like diamond or netherite. Like I said, his design, completely his design. Um, I'll link, I'll link that video in the description. For if anybody wants to follow that uh, tutorial to how to do it. Yeah, I think it would be quite nice if I just whack weapons in there and, you know, have basically see what I can get, make a video on that, I don't know. Yeah, that was a 
something I decided to do. I think it's quite nice. And again, video in the description if anyone wants to check that out. You've got there's your redstone for it. It's quite simple because even I can do it. Went to the Nether. Um, is there anything else I did? No, not really. Let's go sleep. So in this video, we are going to um, basically do up the rest of the base. And by rest of the base, I mean the walls. This part of the base. <laughs> Nothing serious, I guess. Oh, don't hit that. That probably won't be good, would it? Bugger. But yeah, so I've been working a lot last night. <sighs> More than I've pretty much ever worked in Minecraft in a single night. But, you know, it was worth it because I think it does look nice, especially the, uh, especially the mystery box. I think that was definitely a really cool uh, addition there. I do, I do really like it. So, this is going to be the brewery. Hmm. I do have plans for the brewery. This is going to be the storage. So, this is obviously what we're going to focus on first. This is what we're going to focus on first. Because I need to get the storage done. Because I'm kind of running out of room. <laughs> and then, of course... Probably going to need even more storage after this because this is not going to be enough. But that's okay because, you know, I do have plans to. Oh, yeah. That's going to be there and that's going to be there. They can't be there, can they? So, obviously, the plan is to have chests here, but that will just show the glowstone there. I'll see how it looks. And if it looks ugly, then I'll get rid of the glowstone. Because it's pretty lit up without the glowstone. Oh my god, more diamonds. Aren't I the luckiest? I get nothing but diamonds. <laughs> I swear, this is, you know, one of the... I rarely get this many diamonds when I'm playing. Honestly, I rarely get this many diamonds. So, uh, there is something else I want to talk about. Uh, I always have something to talk about. And that is... I know... I'm getting, I know I'm doing a lot of Ark and Minecraft. For the past like two weeks, I've done nothing but Ark and Minecraft on my channel. And there is a reason for this. I don't know what to record. I'm looking through stuff, you know, looking through games to record. And honestly, they are not the games that I, that, you know, would basically fit my channel. It's stuff I... You know, it's not games that I want to do. It's not games that I want to have on my channel. And so I'm not doing them on my channel. And so instead you are getting a lot of ARK in Minecraft. And I do apologise for that if anybody is getting pissed off seeing ARK of Minecraft. Like I said, I, I am sorry for that. But it is only for te it is only temporary until until other games come out. You know, it is only temporary until other games come out, where I can then, obviously, play those games. And I will, you know, play other games on my channel, but like I said, just for right now, it is going to be a lot of Ark and Minecraft. And I, like I said, I really do apologise for that. But, you know, people seem to be enjoying what I'm doing. People seem to be enjoying what I'm doing. Or at least I hope you're enjoying it. Because I woke up again today to another <laughs> notification from YouTube. Another video had a comment. Um, I think it was a Minecraft one. It was a Minecraft one. Yeah, it was a Minecraft one. Someone commented on it. And it made me happy. As it, as it always does. It made me happy. You know, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. I'm going to leave that like that. But yeah, it made me happy to, that someone commented at all. Um, 
but the problem is, I'm so used to sarcasm that when I see comments, I immediately think, oh, they don't actually mean it, it's, that's just sarcasm. When they, you know, it might not be sarcasm, I'm just, you know, thinking that it is sarcasm. So I do apologise if, you know, that's your, you know, if that's, you know, if you don't mean sarcasm and I'm saying that you're being sarcastic, I do apologise for that. But, uh, you know, it does make me happy to know that anyone is enjoying my videos at all. The fact that anyone has decided to comment on any of my videos, thank you. Um, right now we're going to go and get some leather, and there's also something else I want to show you as well before we continue doing the, the base. So, we need some leather, and I found some cows over here. But yeah, um, so thank you to anyone who is enjoying my videos. Thank you to anyone who, you know, comments or likes the videos. It genuinely makes me really happy. You basically cannot comprehend how how happy it makes me. Literally, I cannot speak. I I cannot speak. I'm unable to speak because every day. For the past like two days, for the past two days, I've woken up. Past two days, I've woken up to a message, uh, to a notification from YouTube, telling me that someone has either subscribed or, you know, commented or something. And that's uh, one of the first things I see because you know I wake up, get myself situated, I check my phone, as I do, you know reply to people, you know, get, get shit done on, on my phone, and I see that notification, and I'm just like, oh my god, someone, someone watched my video, someone actually cared enough to watch my mm. video, no. thank you so mm. much, and I'm not very good at conveying how much it means to me, but I hope that anyone listening to this, anybody watching this, and hearing this, I'm saying, I'm saying all this, I hope you can all understand that it really, really makes me happy. And I hope you understand that whatever you're, whatever you're doing, any, any little comments you make, any interactions, whether it's a like or a subscribe or anything, thank you. I never got into this game. I never got into, into YouTube purely for the money aspect. A lot of people do it for the money aspect. A lot of people are doing it, you know, just because they want money and YouTube makes money. I'm doing it because I want to. Because I like to make stuff. I really like to make stuff. I like making projects. I like, I want to entertain people. I want to make people happy. And YouTube, in the age that we're in now, of, I guess social media, YouTube is a really good platform for that. And of course I have other projects planned, you know, making games, making comics, comics and stuff, but YouTube for right now is my mainstay. YouTube is my mainstay. And you know, I I have 43 subscribers. So to every to all the 43 of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. In comparison to people like Mark, it means nothing. And I know it, it seems very... I don't know, I can't put this into the right words. But me chatting about this... I'm, I'm sure you're laughing and saying, like, Yeah, you're only fucking 43 subscribers. It doesn't matter. Could have been one subscriber. I don't care. I could have... I could have... You know, nobody could have subscribed to me. But as long as they, you know... If anybody watches my video, if anybody laughs, if anybody gets any entertainment, fall asleep to my voice. I've heard that I have a very nice voice. Thank you to anyone who has said that, you know. Like, it doesn't matter whether you subscribed or not. I'm just really happy that you did. I'm really happy that you took time out of your day to, to watch my video. To, to, you know, subscribe. Fuck. Thank you all so much. It really makes me happy. It makes my days. 
my days are very bland, I guess you could say. I pretty much do the same shit every day. And that is record, edit, render, upload. That's basically what I do all days. Record, edit, render, upload. And then get stuff ready for the next day to record, edit, render, upload. Over and over and over. But when I wake up and I see those oh. notifications, somebody somebody is liked, somebody is subscribed, somebody has commented. I truly wish that I could convey better. Because thank you all. Thank you so much, no matter who you are, no matter what you what you've done, whether whether you subscribed, whether you've liked, whether whether you've you know clicked on my video just for two seconds, <laughs> or you clicked on my video to watch it and you didn't do anything else. Thank you to every single one of you. Thank you all so so much. I really wish I could convey it better. I'm so sorry that I can't. I just... I want you all to know. I really do want you all to know just how much you all mean to me for the fact that you are, you know, with me finding entertainment in the stuff that I've done. And like I said, you know, I can't really tell if it's sarcasm or not. All the comments that I get, I, I don't know if it is sarcasm or if you actually mean it. But whatever the case, still makes me happy. Thank you. Truly and honestly. So, with that out of the way, before I, you know, so I'm getting teary-eyed thinking about thinking about it. There is something I want to show you guys. It is thump. I found something else last night while I was looking for lava to turn into obsidian. We come down here. So obviously this is where this is where I live. This is the spawner down here. You know. I was just wandering around for quite a while, and then I came. I went this way. I went this way. And I was going this way. And I could go down there, but I didn't. I went over here. Over here. I went then down. And then down. And further down. And further, further down. And further down. And down and down. And down and down and down. And down and down and down. And down and down and down and down. And mineshaft. I found a mineshaft. <laughs> Obviously, part of this mineshaft is this, which I didn't see. I'll take that, though. Take that shit. Fucking it. So that, which I didn't see. But, oh, bugger. Um, is there a safer way to go? This way? Yeah, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Here. Cave spider spawner. So that is another thing we can add to our base. Obviously, do I remember how to make spider spider farms? Nope. Nope, I don't. But I'll try. I'll give it my I'll give it my best. I'll give it my best gully. I'll give it the best gully that I can. And it'll come out looking dog shite, I know. But I'll, I'll try, I'll try, because that'll be useful, because then that'll be infinite string as well as infinite spider eyes, which is useful. String is useful. All I need is to find a skeleton spawner, as well as a normal spider spawner, and then a blaze spawner for the nether, which is something we're going to have to do one of these episodes, is go to the nether. So now I have to climb this water to go back. <laughs> but anyways, I could do that. Try it. Obviously, this is still there, but I 
definitely better to do that. Right, so, I'm going to cook up this beef. Cook up the beef. Obviously food for, you know, when I go farming. Which I'm probably going to have to do after this as well, just obviously get some more, some more shit. I'm only out of sticks, I'm out of sticks, bastard. Right, so we need item frames, yeah? Six item frames, because what we're going to do is, obviously I'm going to dupe item frames. Usually I put um, signs on them, telling you what it is, but I think I'm going to put item frames on them this time. I might be a little bit better, I hope. I've been recording for 20 minutes. Half of that, most of that, was just me talking about... Um, yeah, what, what you all mean to me. And I do apologise. <laughs> now, thinking about that, you know, that it's probably not very good. And I'll tell you what, guys. I will leave this episode here. I, I was just thinking about that. And, yeah. I'm going to leave this episode here. And the reason is, in my spare time, so after this episode, I'm going to, to finish this. You know, make the brewery. You know, make the bedroom and stuff, sort stuff out, dupe stuff, obviously, but, right, so, so, listen, right, it's okay, alright, it's okay, calm down, so, calm down, guys, it's okay, I'm gonna leave this episode here, and, next episode, despite us not doing much this episode, next episode, we are gonna go to the nether, and we are not going to stop until we find until we find either a nether fortress or a bastion. We are not going to stop until we find one of those two. Yeah? Does that sound good? Does that sound like a fair deal? Because I think that does. I think that does sound like a pretty fair deal to me. But that is for the next episode. Um, you know, whether that episode is an hour long, two hours long, we are going to do it. But, like I said, this episode, I'm going to leave here. Anyways, guys... Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, you guys know what to do. And guys, Mike Tucio here, saying goodbye. I love you guys for next time. Bye-bye.